I want you to know that it's possible. And if you're watching this video and you haven't got any clients, I want you to understand that I was in the exact same position that you are in just four months ago and everything has changed. The only reason that it has changed though is because I decided to make this year my year and I've decided to sacrifice things and I've decided to give him my all. And if you're not willing to do that, then I'll probably click off this video because it's pointless watching the video of how I did it when you're not willing to do it yourself. Now, if you wanna watch this video, I encourage you to watch it all because I go through from the start of my journey, which is this year, to today, which is the 19th of April. Here's what I did to go from zero clients to four in three months. Now, I know this number isn't absolutely fucking massive and you're probably thinking, it's four clients, mate, relax. Yeah, I know, I understand. But from somebody that has done this as freelancing for the past two years and never really managed to go past one, uh, past, yeah, past one client, I've put things into place and I started building systems and I've genuinely started to build an agency. And that is what my whole journey is about, building a, an actual agency. None of this guru shit where I pretend to be making 10 or 15K a month and it's so easy to do. Like I could literally just fake all the screenshots that I have from, you know, the income that I get on through my Stripe. Adjust some numbers and start fucking selling a course and people will buy it because people message me asking me if they if I can teach them this or how can they ask me a question about this or, you know, do I do mentorship or do I do one-to-one uh, -one calls and all this other stuff. I don't do any of that. I literally, I'm just a lad that has had enough of his fucking job that is leaving tomorrow, taking this massive leap into the unknown and who just wants to build an agency because that's all I've ever fucking wanted to. I've wanted to work for myself and I've done social media marketing before. I've done advertising, paid advertising for clients before and I've paired the two together. I've worked in the construction industry. That's who I'm servicing right now and that's exactly what I want to be doing, right? And that's exactly what I'm doing and nobody's going to fucking stop me. And that's you're watching from the HMRC. But anyway... Starting position, I'm gonna have to move myself around because um, it's just gonna be annoying because I've got pictures on the right side. But starting position, I had no clients. Start of this year, I had zero clients. 2023 was possibly the worst year of my life. Like genuinely, you, you know, I've been on this self-development sort of thing for the past uh, three or four years. So it's been quite a while, but Last year, I said to myself, at the start of last year, I remember saying to myself, this is my year, I'm going to change it, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And then literally like three weeks into it, I started sacking stuff off and I just started slacking and like, it's just been an absolute nightmare of a year. But I still did some freelancing here and there and I rev never really made it past a thousand pounds a month. Like that was it. I never really bothered about testimonials, reviews, results, none of that. I just winged it. Like, you know, I was working my nine to five and that's quite a stressful job in itself because I was running basically the fucking company. Um, if you don't know, watch some of my previous videos, what I did and stuff. But essentially I was running the company on as the side of the managing director. And, you know, it gets stressful. People call you, you can't really focus. You can't really, I can't, I couldn't really just sit down at three o'clock. It was when I was supposed to finish and, you know, pick up the phone and start dialing because I'd be on site somewhere and I'd have to get back home. And then by the time you got home, it was four o'clock and blah, 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 right? Excuses, probably half of it's excuses, half of it's real, but it is what it is, right? I can't change that now. All I can change is moving forward. I can learn from that and stop being a bitch and just do cold calls. Anyway, Start of 2024, I decided that this is my year and this is none of this preachy guru shit that, you know, you can change your life in three months and blah, blah, blah. It's genuine. It's a genuine thing where I've sat down, I looked at the past five years. I've been, you know, the thing that made me think about it the most is that I've been with my girlfriend for over seven years now or six, well, six years. And I've looked at where I was with my mindset at the start of our relationship. And I've always wanted to run my own business and I've always wanted to do things and make money and, you know, that sort of stuff, like entrepreneurial sort of thoughts and stuff. And I've got all this knowledge and I've known how to make money and, and I've seen people doing drop shipping and I've seen people do SMMA and SAAS or software as a service and all this bullshit that you see online, right? And I've got like some, you know, decent knowledge of that and... I've just always lacked the part where you just take action and I've always just been too fucking scared to do it. And I've decided that this year is my year 
And I genuinely mean that to myself and I've put things into place for me to be able to do that. And that's exactly what's happening. My, this year is my year. No matter what, I'm going to make it a success and I'm going to make it definitely better than 2023. But that position there where I think of how far I've come from the start of my relationship to now and you know, I realized that I was lacking taking action. And I've always said to my girlfriend, like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll start this business. And, you know, I'm doing this clothing brand with my mate and blah, blah, blah. And I'm doing this agency and then I'm doing this freelancing. And then now I'm doing the agency and now I'm making it work. January, I was working my full time job, seven till three, my nine to five, let's say. Yeah, you can say it's nine to five. And my way of getting customers in was cold emailing businesses. Now, the first thing is I had nothing, zero agency, zero name, any, none of that. First three weeks, that's what I built. I built the systems, I started onboarding packs, I started, uh, you know, all the stuff that I need when somebody comes on. And then I moved over to cold emailing people and letting them know about what I do, right? Now, before any of that, before reaching out to somebody, you need to make sure that you have some systems in place. Now, obviously, you're not gonna know what to do and how to do everything, but you need to have some sort of idea where if somebody says yes to you, like what's the next five things that you do for you to go from the yes to for you to be servicing this client and you know making money off of them, right? You need to have a payment processor, you need to have a contract in place, you need to go tick off the boxes on the onboarding pack and so on and so forth, right? Anyway, I told everybody that I am doing this. I'm running an agency now and I'm doing lead generation for home improvements companies. That's I told everybody. And at the start of the year, the company that I was working for, we were waiting for a big contract to start. Now that contract failed and we didn't have any backup. We didn't take any work on. We had no private projects, nothing like this was supposed to be a big commercial project, a big commercial contract that was supposed to take us for the whole year. Like we had lads set up and, you know, we had subcontractors to come in and et cetera. And that failed, it fell through. And I sat there with my managing director and I said, listen, we need a plan and I'm doing this and I've done this for previous companies before over the past year or two. And I've delivered them decent results. Like they've, you know, they've closed some good jobs and so on. And it's mainly for private work, but we definitely need to try it. And he said like, yeah, this is a good idea. Uh, and in the video here on the right, as you can see, I signed my first client. Uh, you can go and watch that. And I literally talk about like what happened and so on. So yeah, I started it. I suggested it. We started it. I set up a Go High Level account, which is absolutely fantastic software. If you're new to SMMA, uh, it's the go-to software for most agencies nowadays. And I definitely recommend it. We moved over to February and I was still cold emailing businesses and, you know, reaching out through cold emails. Zero success. Like, honestly, I used to do it and I used to get a few responses here and there. And it's just been a nightmare doing it. I was doing it and I was not getting a single reply. I was checking, you know, it's a lot of different moving parts with an email and cold emailing. And you have to realize that you end up in spam or people block you and so on. And so, it's just fucking long, like, um, but I started experimenting with different types of offers at this point as well, because I thought, so when my employer signed, I'd literally said to him, like, just give me a grand a month. I'll run the first month for free. Let's get some work in and then I'll show you that it works and then you pay me every single month, right? So I started experimenting with different types of offers because nothing was working. Nobody wanted to just jump into an agency or pay me a thousand pounds without any concrete proof of what I do and how I do it, right? So I started doing pay on results. Basically, fucking just come through the door. I'll show you what I can do it. And then if I get your results, you just give me a payment, right? That got me a kitchen fitter. I worked with that kitchen fitter for about a month. Uh, and that was a fee. Basically, if you don't pay, if you don't get any leads or if you don't close any leads, then I don't get paid, right? I'm still working my full-time job at this point. And it was fucking, it's still intense to be honest, but it was intense. Uh, and like I mentioned earlier, it's not just, you know, a nine to five. When you're running a business on the side of somebody, even though I'm technically an employee, um, it was still like intense and you can see on the right here i was booking calls and you know jumping on on the uh, zoom calls with people and then the client was getting some results finally and in march i stopped the call outreach completely um i started with a new offer 
it was a two ninety nine setup fee and then a pay on results, so five percent. So whatever value of the job that you get, five percent is what I take. You know, I was making a little bit more ahead of you because at this well at the start because I was getting that two ninety nine as a setup fee. And I created a funnel and did the adverts with that like video sales letter, which I'll show you right now. So here's the here's the funnel that I use, right? I literally got like over 75 grand in sales for the, my first client and I recorded it, literally just sat there, said like, this is what I did. And it's the exact, I'm pretty sure it's the exact copy of what Alex Hermosi did for Gym Launch, right? Very, very at the start of his career. I mean, he goes through it in, in this book. He goes through it, uh, $100 million leads and like, he literally just says, so here's how I did it. Well, here's what I did, here's how I did it, here's how I can do it for you, and then you literally put it in, into a video, and uh, and that's what I did, right? I've got some, you know, right now I've sort of upgraded it, but um, benefits, and then results, and then straight into a calendar, and uh, that's how, that's what I did, right? Now, I lost the kitchen client, uh, it just wasn't for him, he wasn't working, he was spending money, and wasn't really closing anybody. It's one of the things that I've learned this yeah, is um, to not quit. Like, you just can't fucking quit. Like, there's no other option. You just do not quit. And no matter what you go through, you are not quitting. And that's the main thing, right? I mean, I've literally worked in this business and some moments, some months, we sat there last Friday of the month and you know last Friday's payday and we've got fuck all in the bank account. Now, what, what do you think we did? And I mean, we, do we sit, sit there in the office in the morning and scratch our heads and like, I don't know, should we just give up or should we go out and graft and get the money in and chase clients and, you know, do anything and everything possible in your fucking energy that you've got available in each day to be able to make that work. And that's what we did, right? I signed another client, by the way, on a retainer. And then the last day in March, I handed in my notice because I decided that no more fucking about business is business and I want to grow mine and and that's it now April takes us to April here I am I'll show you the picture uh I'll move my cr I'll, I'll block my crotch out sorry ladies uh, but I'm still cold emailing companies right 25 a day that's what I'm doing right now I'm getting actually I'm getting a fair few replies nowadays I've changed up the copy and it tends to you know boost the sort of reply response rate um, at the moment, I've not booked anyone through. I've sent over a few proposals and I've also sent over a few, um, you know, like write-ups of what we do and stuff because uh, they wanted more information. But currently, we're running two offers. So I'm still sticking with a 299 setup fee and then paying results of 5%. And then I've got the retainer of approximately £1,000. It depends on the client size. Why I said approximately, because I've been talking to a few clients and I've been actually seeing that a lot of people that are coming through now, the adverts, they are looking at bigger budgets to be using and stuff. So I want to be taking a little bit more of the of the pie, I guess. But I'm running adverts to generate the leads. And that's the main thing right now that I'm doing. So a little bit of cold outreach. And then most of it is literally just generating leads for myself uh, through Facebook advertising, right? Um, I lost the kitchen client, which I already said. I don't know why it's in here again, but I signed two new clients on paying results, and that was through uh, Facebook advertising. And then what I've done is, if you see here on the right, is another day of me making adverts, and that's what I've been doing. I've been making different copies and different creatives of adverts, promoting my service, and you know I've been <clears throat> I've been showcasing like results I've been doing before and afters. I've been doing simple text copy or a simple text advert, uh, loads of different types and loads of different uh, variations of adverts to try and get a client through. So far this week I've had a few calls and I've booked two demos for next week. One of them is looking at pay on results, so the fee two ninety nine and then five percent of each job that they close. And then another one is looking at a £1,500 retainer. Uh, with that one, they actually suggested to jump onto a Zoom call. So, And I said, like, yeah, obviously I said, yeah, because they were a good fit. Um, but they are doing B2B rather than B2C. So anyway, moving forward is one thing that I want to highlight here. And I want to read this and I want to 
hopefully not keep you on for too long because we've been going for quite some time. But you are your own worst enemy. You waste precious time dreaming of the future instead of engaging in the present. Since nothing seems urgent to you, you're only half involved in what you do. Cut your ties to the past. Enter unknown territory where you must depend on your wits and energy to see you through. Place yourself on death ground where your back is against the wall and you have to fight like hell to get out. And you know what? I think when I read this, this was a screenshot from February. I've been thinking about this. This is Patrick Bet David's uh, The Five Moves, I think, something along those lines. Uh, good book. But you have to understand that some of us are way too comfortable in our positions and I've been that person where I've just been comfortable. I've been living with my parents, not really, no real bills. I've been making some fucking sick money and not been really doing anything, just investing all that money. And it's been comfortable, you know, and it's not the best comfort because, I mean, yes, I've got a roof over my head. Yes, I've got food on the table and making good money and blah, blah, blah. And I'm happy, I guess. But in reality, I'm not because I'm not pursuing my dreams. I'm not doing what I want to be doing. I'm not doing what I'm good at. And that's the exact thing that I, I just genuinely want to chase. I just want to chase something that will make me proud of myself. And that's a fucking tough thing to say because I don't genuinely think that I have ever felt proud of myself and what I've done. And I'm always like the biggest critic of myself and it's fucking, it's tough, right? But tomorrow is my last day at work. And after that, Monday comes around, I'm going into a strict routine uh, and I know that it's going to make me incredibly wealthy because if I can sacrifice 99% of things that I have been doing over the past three, four months, then I'm going to be incredibly wealthy and I'm going to win. Now, I've gone over this in my latest YouTube video of the whole system and the framework that I'm going to be using to get to 10 clients in Q2. Uh, and it's fast approaching, like the end of it is almost here. Uh, it's April, you've got May and you've got June. So uh, two solid months uh, to be able to close another six clients. Now, the main thing is cold calling and I'll go over everything uh, in that video. So go and watch that video. But I'm also going to make a video on the vid on the routine, so stick around on my YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed. Uh, I don't usually do these plugs, so that's why I'm so roasting. But yeah, if you're not you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel because I'll post a routine video once it's up and running, and you know it's fucking perfected. But the main thing is Saturdays I'm going to prepare 500 numbers to cold call, and I'm going to use those obviously numbers to cold call throughout the week. <clears throat> but the main thing I want to do and I, like every single year over the past, I don't know, 10 years or so where I've genuinely had a conscious mind and of what I'm doing. Um, I've sat down and reflected like at Christmas at what year I've had and I've never really been happy with it. Uh, I've always felt that there's more that could have been done. There's more that I could achieve uh, financially, especially I'm talking and this time around, I want to sit down at Christmas and I genuinely want to say that I'm proud of myself for what I've done. And I genuinely want to say that I'm in a much better position financially at the end of this year. And I'm going to do everything and anything that I can to make this work.